What's up everybody? Tindo here. With me I've got Hannah with a bad hair day. And today we're going to go to the Goodwill bins. That's something we're doing for sure. Then we'll likely go to some Goodwills after that. But at any rate, you know today is going to be a thrifting adventure. Because that's what every day is. So stick around. Normally, we start these videos somewhere closer to the middle of the day, walking out of the house, heading to thrift stores. So why are we starting today's video so close to sunrise? Look, the sun's just coming up. Well, what we're intending to do today is get to the Goodwill bins at open. All right, the sun is just peeking up and we're rolling into the bins and we're here on time. You know what? We left home about an hour before they opened, maybe closer to 45 minutes. And we've done this a bunch, but sometimes traffic certain days of the week can be so bad that you can't quite get here on time. But there's a big line outside the door and uh, it's pretty interesting because the last couple of times I did this, there was not a line. I guess things got rowdy out here a few times and they've started to make people wait in a, in a single file line outside the door. But we seem to be here early enough. I've seen much bigger crowds that are out here right now. So let's go jump in line and uh, Let's go dig through some garbage. All right, we've only been alive for like five minutes and it's moving. Did we just find him? We did. We have two. All right, that is a wrap for the bins. And we did something we don't normally do. We're actually leaving with a whole cart full. Normally it's just a bag or so, but we did pretty good today. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. So that's it for the Goodwill bins. We quite literally got a van full of nonsense. Bins was awesome today. The wings were awesome today, but now we're going to the only thrift store that matters, Desert Industries. It's my favorite.
All right, I only got one game and one manual for that stop, so it wasn't the best desert stop ever, but there is one more Desert Industries on the way home, so let's go hit that, and then uh, we'll do something else. Last stop of the day. It's another Desert Industries. I've had a fine day. If I don't find anything else, it's gonna be all right, but uh, I would like to take a few more video games on today, so wish me luck. desert where like all the you know household goods and stuff are i don't really come back here much but i check it out right now and then just to make sure there's no like misplaced weed or something but nothing today so this sucks because this is my favorite game in the world some kid has just destroyed it and the disc is not in good shape that really sucks and then I don't believe I have a non-greatest hits edition of this, so we're definitely getting that. And these I actually need to look up. I think I have both. This I want, but I don't think it's worth five bucks. And then, this is another one of my favorite video games, but didn't we just buy this? I don't remember. I don't I either. We're talking about it. I'm pretty sure I used some store credit for it. Mm. But it's only three bucks, we'll put that in the buy pile. And then this, I don't know if I have the greatest hits. I think, I've got this, but all these I actually need to look up because I don't remember if I have these exact ones or not. So I am leaving with a stack of games. I'm putting this one back because it's too much. I've already got multiple copies of these. <laughs> this poor thing. It's almost still worth getting because it is semi-valuable, but that's destroyed. Such a bummer. All right, that is all of the thrifting that we're gonna do today. Now let's go home and let's talk about all this nonsense that we bought. All right guys, we are back in the game room. Hannah picked that bag up. We both got bags full of nonsense because we went to the Goodwill bins and really when you go to the Goodwill bins, you come home with bags full of nonsense. I've also got a small stack of video games here, but video games nonetheless. So let's do this. Uh, I don't even know where to start. I guess just tell them what you got. Hold it all up. Let's see it. All right, lightning round. The coolest piece I got, some vintage 70s Wrangler jeans. Very nice. These are super cool. They're like slightly bell bottoms. Yeah, it's great. Dig it. Then hey, another t-shirt to cut up. Woo, it's the same one that you have under your arm. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys haven't seen the episode where we made this jacket, go check it out. Uh, that Mario came off this exact same shirt. So, bonus, I got a pair of fire socks, fire pun intended. These belong to me now. <laughs> um, little vintage dress, button up front, looks good, stripey. Very nice, very stripey. <laughs> I got Artie pants, staple selling item. These are something that we sell a pair of probably every two or three days. Um, silk Hawaiian shirt. That's pretty. Woo! Not my size though. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, this thing is kind of cool. New Zealand rugby. Yeah, that's cool. It's kind of dope. It needs a bath though, so nice we'll sweater. work on that. That's kind. That's my size. Mm -hmm. Do a little Dib snug. But, Dibs. <laughs> um, vintage Levi jeans. It's a staple. A another vintage dress. I didn't notice this whenever I was there, but someone just uh, lobbed off the bottom there. It's just a raw edge. I'm gonna have to hem that up, but no big deal. I could do that. Um, we'll feel a sweatshirt with a similar problem. Someone just lobbed off the bottom. I'm gonna put some elastic in it, cinch it up. It's a look. Very anyway, nice. Um, cute little denim shorts. They got a little bow on the side. They're real pretty. They really do have a bow. They got two bows on That's both so sides. That's so random. <laughs> um, Harley Davidson crop top also just lobbed off on the bottom. I'm gonna lob it off a little shorter and call it a shirt. The last one might be my favorite. It's real dumb. It's a vintage t-shirt. Boom. 
It's a bunch of fish, and the first fish has some bottle bubbles trailing back from him. And it really does fish. say who farted. <laughs> All right, is that everything you got? That's everything. All right, well, we're going to move on to my things now. Hunker down, because I've got so much nonsense sitting here in front of me that you're not going to believe it. Well, you're probably going to believe it because you've probably watched plenty of my videos and you've seen me buy lots of nonsense before. But first off, I found a Mario Odyssey poster, but he's ripped up. But I think I'm just going to tape it up and put it on the game room wall anyways. But comment below, which side? Cappy on the tank or just the regular side? I, I'm kind of leaning towards the regular one, but that tank is pretty funny. <laughs> All right, the next thing that I got that was equally random, <laughs> this is so silly. I got the insides to a Wii Fit, including, that's what just fell down, the original batteries that came with the Wii Fit. There's a sealed copy of Wii Fit in there, which is actually my first sealed copy of Wii Fit. But what's funny wow. is I've got, uh, you can see it just back here. That's my Wii Fit. It's just the Wii Fit in the box without all the original packaging. So... I've got a complete inbox we fit as it came now, and it'll be sealed up and ready to go. Uh, I'm pretty happy about that because I have been a little bit bummed that my inbox we fit is just kind of the board in the box with the game slipped in there. I mean, good on Nintendo for packing batteries with it. Yeah. That's rare. There's nice Panasonic batteries too. It was kind of funny because I opened, it was a really rough looking uh we fit box it didn't look great at all but i opened it up and there was a we fit board in there with all this packaging completely untouched and i thought that was kind of random really uh but i snatched it up and i'll be assembling my own complete inbox we fit next up i bought a lunch bag i know this is random but i'm actually gonna i'm gonna cut that that logo off and sew it onto this jacket or another jacket not sure which uh, the next thing that I got, I probably really didn't mean to buy it, but it's a dragon <laughs> puppet. What? It's not Spyro? If you've watched any of our videos uh, from the last few weeks, you've probably... I've bought puppets here and there. It's a thing. We'll talk more about it later, but uh, I, got a, I got a dragon puppet. Alright, next up, paint brushes. Uh, these are just sponge brushes. I use these as if they're disposable. I don't wash them out, so I keep hundreds of them, quite literally, for different projects that we do around here. And uh, so I always buy those when I find packages of them. Nerf drum clip. The cables and remote for a Wii. Someone at the bins actually just handed this to me. They knew I did video game stuff, and they're like, here, you want these? And I was like, I definitely do. I've got just off shot over here but I have one two three four five six extra Wii sitting over there and I've got the cables for all of them uh, I but I I was I am short one so that actually kind of completes the last week I have sitting over there all this we don't have to dig through it's a bag of pretty much of Legos uh, and it has several almost complete uh, Star Wars ships and stuff and so I think it's all there. I think I can probably go complete that, but I also got a Jack Skeleton Disney Infinity. Did you find this one? I did. I thought so. And that was awesome. That's a big bag of Legos right there. Very happy to find Legos anytime at the Goodwill bins. Alright, that's the nonsense, I believe. Now we'll move on to the video games. I got a only one gaming manual today, and this was from a Desert, and uh, it's for Portal 2. So that's awesome. Can't wait to add that to my library of uh, video game manuals. And I got one, two, three, four, five games. But there's some real good stuff here, including Battlefront. The second Battlefront, which I believe I don't have non-greatest hits. But even if I do, this was only a couple bucks. So it was totally worth leaving the thrift store with. Anyways, I'll either trade it in or I don't know. I don't really have any PS2s I need to sell like I do Wii's. But... If I ever do, I'll have some good games to throw in with them. SSX3, Greatest Hits. Uh, then Kinetica. I do already have this, but this is a game that I'm super fond of. And uh, I want one to display on a, a shelf of my favorite games. So I just, it was a couple bucks, so I bought another one. Uh, Madden 2002 for the GameCube. One of the few Maddens for GameCube that I didn't have. And then Greatest Hits, Jack 3. So these are just all kind of quality games except for Madden, which I just need because I'm going for that complete GameCube collection. But that's everything that we got today, guys. Definitely leave us a comment below and let us know what your favorite thing that we got was. What was your favorite thing? 
I don't even remember anymore. Maybe the socks. The socks. I'm actually the most excited <laughs> about all this uh, innards for my Wii Fit. I don't know why. Probably because I'm a crazy person. Uh, but it's even the plastic to go around the board. It's just, I don't know. I was really happy. I almost just went ahead and bought that whole Wii board because the Wii board itself was pretty much untouched and mine is used, but I don't mind mine being used. Uh, but that's my favorite thing that I got. Very excited to hear what you guys think. What's your favorite thing that we got? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Battlefront's always good. Probably expect a few of you to say that, maybe. But I want to know if any of you have ever played Connecticut. I've talked about it once or twice on the channel. What a good, good, good game. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite thing we got. And then also before you go, make sure to hit that sub button. If any of you have been paying attention to our sub count recently, you might want to go put your eyeballs on it again. We just jumped up to 900 in a matter of a few days from 800. We're really starting to move fast. I don't know if the algorithm has kicked into gear and YouTube's finding like, you guys are cool. But honestly, in the next few days, I kind of expect to actually hit 1,000 subs, which I'm very excited about. So if you're watching and you can help us get there faster, I would appreciate it greatly. So do hit that sub button. And then if you are subbed, please hit that bell notification so that in the future when we go to the bins and buy bags full of random stuff, You'll get a notification when we post that video. And you can come back then and hang out with us then. Until then, guys, peace out.